It's no secret that the man that carried the AK-47 created quite a stir. A local resident nearby at a condo called about the overnight construction. The tenant at this apartment complex told us previously that an employee was allegedly stealing her prescription pills. Look behind me, you can see where police are still investigating. And if you look all the way in the back, you can see an armored vehicle. Georgia DOT workers were mowing when they found a body. Right now, Georgia State troopers are saying that they are looking for three men who are considered armed and dangerous. Police say two masked men came inside with several customers demanding cash. The members here came for a message of hope but arrived to a scene of tragedy. Occupy Atlanta protesters have just left the park from their General Assembly. Atlanta Gaslight said they are moving construction to the daytime and the weekend. Reporting in Cobb County, Grace Jordan, Channel 2 Action News. Parents of adopted children receive a monthly stipend to assist with raising their families. However, we uncovered sloppy management leading to overpayment. <laughs> Meet Felicia Brown. As a senior at Martin Luther King Jr. High School in DeKalb County, running is what she loves to do, and she has the medals to prove it. Track is my life. If I don't run track, I'll, ooh, God knows where I'll be right now. Despite all of her success, Felicia is quick to point out her parents' support. She is a one-time foster child who was adopted by the Brown family. For some reason, she laid on my heart. And then on Monday morning, I called my friend back and said, you know, I'm going to call the placement person at Fulton and tell them I would take her. While Suzette and her husband provide physical love and support, her family receives $436 a month in financial support from the Georgia Department of Human Services, DHS. With Felicia, if it had not been for the adoption subsidy, we would not have been able to adopt eight children. We found errors in DHS's money management, leading to overpayment of the money vital to families like the Browns. As a matter of fact, Georgia had an error rate of roughly 70% of its sample cases with 24 million unaccounted for. Now Georgia may have to pay Washington back nearly 15 million since most of the money is from the federal government. The chair of the House of Health and Human Services Committee says the situation is critical. I think that what you're seeing is, is why we broke that department up. That was the largest department in state government until we broke it up and we took out public health, we took out some of the things that it did and put it in community health. And I think it was just so large that it had become unmanageable and people were not doing their jobs. Suzette Brown believes honesty is key in addressing this issue. If a family receives any type of uh, subsidy or assistance or anything, reimbursement. You know, there has to be some honesty to be able to contact the agency to let them know. While there is a new administration in place to address the problem, as Suzette Brown says, the best way to help is if you receive an overpayment is to return the money. Reporting in Midtown Atlanta, Grace Jordan, Channel 2 Action News. Tonight's East Point City Council meeting was peaceful compared to last week's fiery town hall meeting where proposed water and sewer rates were discussed. But despite how smoothly it went, there were still some very intense moments. You started the racism. It was a night of finger pointing and accusations as several East Point residents expressed their frustrations to the East Point City Council about an ordinance over water and sewer rates. The rates may lead to a possible property tax increase. It is she also telling the seniors that all they will be paying is twenty dollars when their exemption is eliminated? If you believe that, I have an ocean in Arizona that I'd like to sell you. However, Mayor Ernestine Pittman explained that the increase is a small one. Our millage rate was already at fourteen point seven five mil before this year. We're only going up point twenty five hundred of a mil which means that the highest fair market value property in the city would only increase $34.10. Meanwhile, other East Point residents responded to a town hall meeting where one man rushed toward the mayor and four people were removed. One resident even apologized. I want to apologize as a citizen who attended the meeting on last Thursday. I want to apologize to the citizens who uh, sat home and watched. And I want to apologize to other uh, cities around. Mayor Pittman says with the recent events, she is a little more cautious. I'm not afraid of the residents of the city of East Point. However, I am mindful that there is an element here 
uh, after after last Thursday night that says I have cause to be a bit more cautious than I've had in the past. Now the East Point City Council has moved the vote for the proposed water and sewer rates to March 19th, but we will continue to keep you posted. Reporting in the newsroom, Grace Jordan, Channel 2 Action News.